The most famous raccoon in Minnesota is safe tonight, at least for now. A raccoon that climbed the UBS tower in St. Paul yesterday has been released into the wild where she will live out her days. NPR employees who work nearby noticed the raccoon and started tweeting. Then, NPR raccoon quickly became one of the most popular subjects online. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield has a story of the raccoon being recognized around the world. It was Tuesday afternoon, and a furry daredevil transcended a building and was soon to transcend the globe. Tim Nelson, who works nearby, was one of the first to spot the raccoon. I have never seen anything like this in my life. It was, it was, it was like watching Spider-Man go up the side of the building. Soon, crowds gather outside and online, waiting with bated breath. It's, it's like a living creature that's in peril, you know? It's, you can't help but be captivated by it. Sheila Donnelly had the best view of all. It's hard not to have the little guy you know, capture your attention in your heart and you want to make sure he's all right. And around 2.30 a.m., it became apparent it was all right. Hours later, wildlife management caught the raccoon who was catching so much attention. Some perspective here on just how big this story is. Look at this, the Washington Post. They had the headline, Raccoon Triumphs Over Skyscraper. And then on the West Coast, the LA Times says, Raccoon Safe on Rooftop. And this was national news. Time Magazine saying the internet hero climbing raccoon has now concluded its death-defying stunt. And this is international, making headlines in Australia, in Singapore, Malaysia, and China. And my personal favorite is this one from Malaysia, calling the raccoon a social climber. That climber turned out to be healthy. And after seeing no signs of rabies, technicians took the raccoon onto some private land in a private location. And after a little hesitation, the critter who captured the world's attention was released. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News.